Hi guys, welcome to Veering's RV Center. We've been family owned and operated since 1954. My name is Parker and today I'm gonna to give you a walkthrough video of the Vacationer XE 36F from Holiday Rambo RV. If you have any questions about this motorhome throughout the entire video, please give me a call. My number will be at the bottom of the screen. If you have questions about financing, what your value is on your trade, um, the whole purchasing process or some of the perks that you have as a Veering's RV customer, also give me a call. Let's take a look at the inside of this beautiful motorhome. This 36F Vacationer XE is a bunkhouse floor plan that is a gas motorhome. We're gonna be going over a lot interior and exterior of this coach, so please give me a call at any time if you have questions. For this particular video, we have gone with the one with the Kona Grove interior with a dark cherry high gloss wood and the Sonic Streak exterior paint, which you'll see later on in the video. If you're looking at one on our website that might look a little different, please give us a call so we can confirm, but for this video, those are the interior options and the exterior paint that we have gone with. Let's take a look at the kitchen. The kitchen setup on this 36F is absolutely phenomenal. You're gonna have a lot of storage here above the sink. And here you're gonna have your convection microwave, plenty of room to cook all those dinners, pop those bags of popcorn, cook those hot pockets that you like to, or pizza rolls, whichever your choice is. Over here, we're gonna have your huge residential fridge, which you do have an inverter with to help power the coach if you're not plugged in. Um, plenty of room here. I mean, this is absolutely ginormous. Plenty of room to take everything with you with an ice maker down here as well in the pull-out freezer. And that is Samsung too. So you're gonna have a, a nice household name there that you know and, and trust as well. Um, solid surface countertops throughout the entire coach of this Vacationer. Very nice, very high-end quality. Uh, it's gonna last you long and be a lot, uh, be really durable too. The thing I love about this kitchen is not only the countertop space and the real actual tile backsplash, but just the way they set everything up. There is no oven in this one because you have a convection microwave. So what it's gonna do is actually just give you more storage down here wide open if you want to put a trash can you have another spot which you'll see in just a second but all your pots pans any of your big items that you want to put in there you can do and drawers drawers are hard to find nowadays whether it's travel trailer fifth wheel or motorhome drawers are hard to find so it's nice to see that they actually give you drawers and they're full length as well it's gonna have four drawers there more storage here as well this is another good spot and actually i forgot i apologize you already have a trash can spot so and they give you they provide you with a trash can more space down here you do have your water heater bypass in there as well though so if you do your own uh, winterizing you can do that or if you take it somewhere they have easy access to, access to it if you bring it to us coming over here um, again more storage you're gonna have a nice pantry here with some shelves adjustable shelves as well more down here now these are actually gonna be pull out drawers and you're gonna have three of those throughout there. So you got adjustable shelves and then pull out drawers. Uh, good, good chance for you to kind of uh, strategize where you wanna put everything. Then you're gonna have your dinette set up, which just again is a solid surface counter. So this, you know, where you're using a lot to eat, breakfast, lunch, dinners, all that, this is gonna be durable, hold up uh, over time. You have some cup holders if you have some people traveling with you and they're sitting there. Um, this does make down into a bed. This table just slides off and then you actually have two levers on this side and that side that you will release and this, these cushions will slide right on down. More storage again though, pull out drawers on both sides of the dinette here. If you wanna put your pots and pans in there. Everything is easy viewing of the TV though, because of it being a midship entertainment center. Coming back here, you do have your sofa, which actually a nice feature with these is that it actually has kick out recliners on both of them. Nice easy switches and very, very comfortable couch too with a nice little ledge back here and cup holders as well. Even this is a solid surface, so not cutting corners by making this like a T-mold um, or anything like that. This is a solid surface as well. Easy viewing of your 40 inch TV with your fireplace below, but again, storage throughout here as well and storage above the sofa here that are actually deep cabinets and they're on hinges as well. Some manufacturers don't put the hinges there so the cabinets just fall back down. But a lot of windows throughout the entire coach. It's nice that they give you some kitchen windows as well. So if a kid are outside playing, um, you can kind of keep an eye on them if you're in here grabbing a snack, grabbing a drink, whatever you're doing. So let's take a look at the bunk area. Now for the focal point of this 36F floor plan, the bunk area. You're gonna find nice wide open bunks here with windows on both of them, which is really nice. And they will both open if you wanna get some ventilation in there as well. A hanging bar across the top here. So if you wanna flip up this top bunk for some wardrobe space or hanging space while you're going down the road and traveling. Um, but the, another nice thing that I mentioned in the kitchen area was the drawers. They actually give you drawers here as well for all the kids stuff. Full extension, nice depth on them as well. So you can kind of fit everything that you need in there. And 
And then you're also gonna have storage across here. Now you have a 24 inch LED TV here as well. Um, so just like you have that 40 inch in the, in the main uh, living area, you have this here as well. So if the kids at night wanna watch a movie and mom and dad are watching uh, the news or movie out there, you can do that as well. But you're gonna have plenty of storage here too. Nice little flip down area here and some storage here, which actually has some good depth for if you wanna put movies, books, anything that they wanna bring with them there. Now the, one of the most unique things about this floor plan is that it's gonna be two bathrooms. Notice I didn't say a bath and a half, two bathrooms, two full bathrooms. You're gonna have a shower in here and a shower back in your main bathroom, which you'll see in a minute too. Really spacious shower there and spacious bathroom here with a porcelain toilet. Plenty of space in there to set everything you need in the morning and storage above and below the sink as well with a max air vent here in the, um, in the first bathroom, if you will. But um, LED lights throughout the entire coach too. So now the master bedroom area, and you're gonna find a lot of things in here that I think you're really gonna like. First off, being a ton of storage, and then your own king size bed for mom and dad here too. Um, first, let's start with the storage. Plenty of hanging space, and actually, again, some adjustable shelves here too, but plenty of space. Cedar line closets though as well. Again, Holiday Rambler is all about quality, and we'll get into more about the construction of the quality and the way they build things on the exterior. But cedar line closets, plenty of space in here, some shelves, adjustable shelves, and hanging space. And then more drawers. You're gonna have more drawers throughout the entire uh, bedroom. You have drawers here and all the way down and then a nice big drawer down here as well. Mom and dad will have a 24 inch TV here um, in the bedroom as well, so if you wanna watch a movie at night and whatnot. But like I mentioned, king size bed with windows on both sides with night and day shades throughout the entire um, coach as well. I forgot to mention that earlier. So if you wanna have um, a little more privacy, the windows are, are tinted. Um, to the point where it's very hard to see in them, but this just gives you another option if you want to keep the sun out a little bit or at night if you want to put down the nightshades. You do have storage above and mom and dad or his and her reading lights, excuse me. And outlets on both sides as well for your um, electronics, CPAP machines, whatever you're bringing with you. And then the master bathroom back here. Again, it's a, it's a two bathroom uh, floor plan, so two full bathrooms. In here, you're going to have a ton of space to get ready in the morning. Set everything you need, toothbrushes, anything. Stainless steel sink back here, which is really nice instead of being plastic. A lot of storage with actual pull-out drawers too. They're adding pull-out drawers almost anywhere they can, which is really nice. And then down here, you have a spot for washer dryer if you'd like. We did not option this one with one. Um, again, if you're looking at one online, please give us a call to verify that it doesn't have those options. So what they do is give you adjustable shelves in here, even more storage. And then some storage here as well if you'd like to put a trash can in the bathroom or anything like that. And then you got a foot flush porcelain toilet and I'll step out of the way and let you take a look at the huge shower there as well. It is a one piece fiberglass shower with a triple sliding glass door. It's the same thing in the first bathroom that we saw. Plenty of space in there. Love for you to come in and actually check it out and stand in there, feel how much room you have to move around and whatnot. And then you have a towel rack back there as well and another Max Air fan up top. So here in the front of the 36F, we've equipped you with a power drop-down bunk for extra sleeping space. If you're somebody who goes to travel baseball tournaments, travel hockey tournaments, football, lacrosse, um, this is a great way to save some money on hotels and whatnot, but so also some extra space for if you're taking some of the some extra teammates along with you and whatnot. Um, plenty of sleeping space with this addition. This does have a blow-up mattress that comes with it for uh, easy uh, sleeping up here, and then there's a ladder for easy access up and down as well. Uh, you do have some cubby holes for, belong for belongings up there, and then some cabinets underneath that you'll see here in just a minute. This is a really nice uh, system uh, because it's actually motorized instead of magnetic that you see on some coaches. It's gonna be very reliable, very durable, and gonna last you a long time as well. It's as simple as a touch of a button. You can see the cabinets back there uh, lifting up with it. Those are actually really good as far as depth wise too. So you can put some extra, extra stuff in there. Like I mentioned before, this coach has a ton of storage all the way around. You notice that we do have the table set up as well. So if you're in here visiting um, with some old friends, if you're in between games, if it's a rainy day and you're just staying inside, um, you do the passenger and driver seat will spin around so you can get some extra seating there as well. One thing I like, sometimes the little things, how to Rambler stitched our logo into it as well. Just a nice touch to it. Um, but this table is even solid surface. I mentioned every countertop in the coach throughout is gonna be solid surface, not cutting any corners there. I think that really speaks volumes that even something like this is gonna be the same as everything else. Um, but with that said, let's take a look at the cockpit. 
So here in the cockpit area, there's a lot of things I want to point out, a lot of things I think they did a really nice job with. First off, it's going to be this finishing touch of this high gloss wood look. You don't see a lot of manufacturers go the extra mile in doing that. Um, just gives it a nicer look um, and a nicer finish. Um, but the layout of the buttons and, and ease of accessing everything is one thing I like in particular. You can reach all your utility lights, turning your lights on and off down here. Uh, your cruise control is all set here on the steering wheel with you. Um, you can change your power mirrors here as well, and you do have heated mirrors too. Um, but seeing your, your backup camera and your side view cameras from your monitor screen here is something that's really nice. A lot of manufacturers you see put the camera kind of straight, so drivers kind of have to lean over sometimes or they get a glare from the sun. Having it on an angle like this a little bit helps eliminate that and helps you sit back, relax, and actually see the cameras. Um, one thing to that note is if you hit your left blinker, the cameras will actually show up and show you the entire left side of your coach and vice versa with the right side, it'll show you the exact uh, same. Once you go back, once you hit your blinker off, it'll go right back to your uh, backup camera. That eliminates your blind spot, helps you see in residential areas if there's joggers, bikers, but it helps merging on the highways, taking your turns around uh, curbs and whatnot too. Access to your four point automatic hydraulic leveling system is very easy and all right here as well. Um, and then ease to the AC and heat as well. Uh, you have a nice cup holder here. One thing I like in particular that they do is they actually have storage on both sides for magazines, books, whatever you're putting there. But again, even your side tables here in the driver and passenger seat are solid surface. Again, I can't really stress that enough, the extra mile the Holiday Rambler goes. Now from the passenger side, if you're one who likes to work while being on the road, you have a nice little pull-out tray here. Um, with uh, this actually sliding back to for some extra storage. And then actually this part will slide out as well for a nice laptop desk. Um, or if you're somebody who likes to do a lot of reading, you can do that as well, tablets, whatnot. Um, again, a cup holder over there um, and some storage rack there too, but plenty of, of room, uh, leg room here in the front for the passenger. So they're nice and comfortable as well. Um, just a lot of space to kind of set things if you're somebody who likes to work on the road. All right, now I'm gonna be going over a lot on the exterior of the 36F, so if you have any questions at any time, please give me a call. I'm gonna to try to go into depth, but I'm gonna to try to uh, condense it a little bit too. For more information, give me a call. I'd love to go over all of you, but I'm gonna to try to touch on everything from construction to paint to the features, to the storage, to the baggage doors, everything that kind of sets Holiday Rambler apart from everybody else in the industry. First, let's start with the patio awning. Um, this is a really nice new design that actually is what we call a legless awning. You don't have to worry about hitting your head um, on an awning that's out. It's gonna dip down here and give you some nice coverage from the sun, so if there's a glare, your LED light strip is gonna be on the inside of it. So it's gonna be hitting back on you as opposed to being out towards your neighbors uh, during the nighttime. Um, very easy to put in and out as it is power. You do have a lighted grab handle here as well, making it easy to see at night if you don't have that on, um, or as you're coming up to your coach after you're out at dinner um, and whatnot. Exterior TV with speakers and an exterior radio as well. So if you want to watch a football game, baseball game, listen to some music and whatnot. Um, now the, in the, for this coach in particular, this video, we have option this one with the tankless water heater. Again, if you're looking one on our website, please call us to confirm that this that the one you're looking at has that or does not. This one does have the tankless water heater, which is an option. Um, let's talk about storage real quick and baggage doors. All of our doors are gonna be side hinge baggage doors that are gonna be insulated, very, very well built, and they're gonna be slam latched. Now it's gonna be important for a couple of different things. If you notice your depth there in your full pass through, same thing as we move over here. Just a ton of storage. Now what I like that Holiday Rambler does with their baggage doors in their storage area is they keep it clutter free. So there's not gonna be a bunch of wires hanging down, a bunch of stuff kind of cluttered in there. It's gonna give you a lot of space to put some niche things. You're gonna have your normal pass-through storages and then some extra areas to put things like, you know, cleaning, uh, cleaning things, some extra things that you might not always have space to take with you. Um, and then you have two more back there, which we'll get to in just a second as well. Slam last doors are nice for a couple reasons. <laughs> Slam them and you're good to go. Now these are nice high-end quality doors that are actually really thick too. That is something I'd love for you to come down to the dealership and take a look at because these are actual motorhome baggage doors. Give me a call and I can explain more about what I mean on that as opposed to being um, cutting corners and not using motorhome baggage doors like some manufacturers out there.
So here on the back of the coach, I wanted to show you the fiberglass rear cap. They did a really nice job with this design. We added on a ladder uh, for easy access up to your roof. There is an extension that will come down here. So if some of you who like to go to races like to sit up on your roof and watch the race, or if you like to get up there, clean it, check your caulks and seals, you can do that as well. LED tail lights, so it'll be easy to see at night for everybody behind you. Um, one thing I want to point out back here though is the beautiful paint job that this vacationer has. Now, Holiday Rambler uses a very high-end quality paint. It is a Sickens brand paint, and if you're not familiar with paint brands, Sickens is the same paint that they use on Mercedes-Benz cars. Very high-end, very durable, a quality paint brand that is being used on your motorhome here as well. Um, so you know that the paint's gonna be reliable. It's gonna last you a long, long time as well, keeping the coach looking really, really nice. As we move on the side here, I want to talk a little bit about Holiday Rambler's construction. Now, this is something I can go more into depth with you if you come on in or if you want to give me a call, but I want to touch on it here real quick because they do it unlike anybody else in the industry and it's very it's the best process out there. Um, first, we'll, we'll start with the sidewalls. What they do is um, actually they use a thicker uh, insulation, a thicker fiberglass than, than they have in prior years. Um, what that allowed them to do is actually take away that Luan backing or that wood substrate in the sidewalls. So if you've ever heard of delamination and uh, RVs having trouble with that, basically what they did is eliminated that worry for you because there's no wood in your sidewalls whatsoever. For more information on that, give me a call or come on in. I do have a couple um, examples I can show you of, of that sidewall too. Next thing I wanna talk about is gonna be their interlocking system for their sidewalls to their floors and their sidewalls to their roof. They use an interlocking system that actually is gonna be more durable and reliable over time. Um, some, some manufacturers are gonna take their flooring and then take their sidewalls and set it on top of their flooring and screw however far their increments are. Hydro Rambler actually uses an interlocking system. So over time of the rigidity going down the road and the vibration and everything, those, you know, it's not gonna it's not gonna come loose or start falling apart on you. Um, it's a lot of under the skin stuff with Holiday Rambler that you can't see that puts them above um, a lot of the competition out there. Um, same thing with your roof as well. You can kind of see how the roof rolls over the top there. That is because of the des their design. The roof will actually, um, again, another interlocking system where the roof actually wraps over top of the sidewall, giving you a more perfect fit and finish, helping with leaks, helping with again just holding up better and lasting you a lot longer over time as well. Um, they even do their slide ramps differently as well. Again, this is getting into some stuff that, um, that I love talking about, would love to share more with you. But give me a call because they're even doing stuff with their slide ramps that are different as well. Most manufacturers are using wood slide ramps, which doesn't really make a lot of sense because as your slides are coming in and out, there's moisture, you know, there's water, um, and having wood on those slide ramps doesn't really make sense. What Holiday Rambler does is they actually use aluminum slide ramps. So basically you don't have to worry about that wood and they're getting wet and whatnot as well. Um, those are just a few things on the construction that I wanted to talk about, but for the full details and a full breakdown, give me a call. I'd love to go over it all with you. So here on the off-door side, I wanna show you the convenience center where you're gonna have your dump station, um, all your water hookups, whether you're doing city water um, or filling up your fresh tank. You're gonna have your tank flush back here, outside shower with hot and cold option. You're gonna have your park cable and your satellite hookup as well, whichever system you're using. A couple outlets if you need to plug anything in. And then you're gonna have an extra water pump switch out here as well. So you have one inside and outside. So if you forget to turn it on and come out here, you can turn it on from here. Um, but easy access to your dump station there. Uh, Holiday Ram provides you with a sewer hose as well. And then you're also gonna have a water filtration system with it too. Um, so you can have nice clean water as well. And then your power hookup back here. So up here towards the front of the coach, I want to show you your generator as well. It is a 5,500 watt generator because you do have two air conditioners in the coach. Um, so you have plenty enough power to run all that as well. But that is up here towards the front, which is actually really nice, keeping away from the bedroom. So if you're running it at night, if you are dry camping or not plugging into power, you don't have to uh, get disturbed by it as much. I want to thank you guys for taking the time to stop by and watch my walkthrough video of the 36F Holiday Rambler Vacationer XE. If you have any questions about the coach, I did throw a lot at you. Give me a call. 616-965-9605 is where you can reach me here at Veerings RV Center. If you have questions about financing options, trade value, perks of being a Veerings RV customer and what we do for you after the sale, please give me a call as well because there is some nice things there too. Um, if you found this video helpful, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, like it, go to our Facebook page and like that as well. Leave us a comment and let us know how we're doing. Thanks guys.